we're going to prove that the derivative of cosecant of x is negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. Well, let's get on to the proof. The derivative of cosecant of x is equal to the derivative of any other way of writing cosecant x. Now, cosecant x is a reciprocal of sine. That is, it's the sine to the negative 1. Then we use the general power rule. Keep the function the same. Bring down the power. Make the new power 1 less. But please, don't forget to multiply by the derivative of the power. So we have a negative cosine x. And sine, so it's going to be sine squared x in the bottom. And we can think of this as cosine x over one of the sine x's times one over the other sine x. The negative is going to stay. This becomes cotangent x. And one over sine x, well, that's cosecant x which is exactly what I said. I just permuted the answer. Cotan is cosecant x negative times cotangent x. It's negative cosecant of x times the cotangent of x. Exactly what I said it should be. Okay, exactly what I just erased and didn't underline what that's going